Hello, YouTube. We are back with another BT11 deck profile, a deck that you might see at Nationals. It is Mastermon. Mastermon got a whole world of support in BT11. It is a very good deck going into the format. You could do well with it at Nationals if you play it perfectly. It is really combo and really skill intensive. It is not for the faint of heart. You give it a try and let me know what you think. If you like the deck profile, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn the notification bell to know slash potatoes. That way you know when all these made to do with it. Oh my god. When all these digital videos come out. Okay. So to start off with the deck profile, we're gonna do four copies of Demi Mera. On deletion, draw one, discard one. That's the only egg you need. Nothing else really matters in this deck. Uh, if you delete, you get rewarded for deleting. That's it. No big deal. Uh, rookies. There are five rookies. Starting with four copies of Ignite Mon. This is a new rookie that comes out in BT11. Uh, costs zero to evolve, which is fine. Uh, all turns once per turn when you play Digimon by an effect, gain a memory. And by the way, you're playing Digimon by effects all the time. And uh, you'll gain memory all the time. And this has a really cool attacking ability. By deleting one of your other Digimon, delete one of your opponent's unsuspended Digimon with a lo lower level equal to or less than deleted Digimon. So, like, it's actually a removal card. Which is crazy. If you promote this and just swing with like a massive on the field, you could do some major damage, uh, which is kind of cool. So yeah, four copies of this. Our fifth rookie is a copy of Gazimon. It's a recyclable rookie. It is there if we need to recycle it. It's there for the memory boosts and all other sorts of memory game. That is the first one of the deck, and there are many more. So that's it for rookies. Five. Again, this is a deck that doesn't really care about its ratios so much because it's doing all sorts of crazy shit. Uh, but five rookies is fine. Champions next. We're playing four copies of Godamon. Play it. Real top three out of purple and a yellow. Uh, you evolve into a fairy or angel. Reduce the cost by two. And then turn DNA to evolve. This card's broken. We play two copies of Devimon from BT11. Uh, while you have a yellow Digimon uh, or Tamer in play, it has Rush and Retaliation. So it's basically a Bushy with Retaliation. And it's easy to bring out too, which is really cool. Because we also play one copy of Angemon from BT11. On deletion, bring back Devimon. That's how it is. Uh, it's a cool combo that comes up sometimes. Sometimes it does allow you to go for game. Um, but sometimes it's just there to apply extra pressure. It makes this into a removal card. And removal cards are good. The, ta the format is full of big towers. This could kind of help against that. That's actually for the champions. Uh, seven. Uh, we don't play Meiku or anything like that. This is just fine the way it is. Uh, we have Rush Retaliation if we need to. We have Recursion. And we have Forgotten Mons, obviously. All right. Ultimates. This is where things go insane. We're playing four copies of the new Angel Mon. When you Digivolve this card, you may look in your security for an Angel, Archangel, Fall Angel. Add to your hand. Recover one if you do. Uh, really, really good. Also, once per turn, if you play Lady Devimon or Miri, gain memory. So, yep. Real good. And then opponent's turn, if you have a purple Digimon to play, you have Blocker. It's a, it's a fantastic card. Let's you loot your security, lets you heal back, put good annoying things in security that are annoying for opponent to deal with. You love to see it here. Then we play two copies of the Mastermon Star Deck Angelomon. The one on play, minus two checks. Uh, comes up with Flame Health Scythe and other applications. Uh, and then the also security plus one is another reason why it's there. That's you get extra aggressive with your Mastermons, which is good. Uh, our last yellow ultimate is one copy of Magna Angemon. On play, recover one. We still play Hell's Size. It's still there. While the deck is more Lady Devi and Angemon focused now, it's cool having the one mana Angemon just to constantly recycle for just one, just free recycle. Or sorry, free heal. It's really good. You love to see it. That's it for the yellow ultimates. Purple ultimates. Uh, I'm back and forth on this lineup a little bit, and I'll explain why. But uh, starting off with three, the new Lady Devimon for T11. When Digivolving, you may trash a card in your hand, which is really good. And then if you do, you may return a Miri or, or an Angel, Archangel, or Fallen Angel from your trash to your hand. Uh, it gives you Recursion, which is really, really good. But it also discards a card, which could be relevant because of Miri. And we'll talk about combos like that later. Uh, also, it has the same effect as this. Play an Angel 1 or Mirror, gain a member once per turn. That's good. And then an opponent's turn, uh, Inheritable Retaliation. Next ultimate, two copies of the original Lady Devimon, the Graceful Charity. Um, I like multiple copies of this card because of Miri. Because it might be the first Lady Devimon you go into. 
you can discard like a late angel or something and bring it right back with a uh, miri uh so i like this one a lot i keep going back and forth between two and three but i do like the recursion this gives you so right now run three and two also has the inheritable pop a level three when you play an option so that's fine and then you play one copy of loose among chaos mode because it's still important to have that with your Master Mon, either Pop Tamers or Pop Level 6 Dedramon with Master Mon. It's a very, very powerful card. Uh, you really have a hard play it. Usually you only play it with Master Mon. It's another one of. Master Mon is full of one ofs, I tell you guys. <laughs> so, anyway, that's it. That's uh, 13 Ultimates. It's a lot, uh, but you really go through all of them. You really do go through all of them. Megas! Four copies of Nasty, Nasty Mommy herself. Uh, when you Digivolve, you heal from the trash. Uh, when you DNA Digivolve, you can look at your security, play level 5 or lower Digimon, and yeah. Then all turns, not once per turn, when you play Digimon Effect, you blow up a card equal to its level or less. Very powerful card. You're just basically controlling the board and doing ignorant things. Mastermon's broken. Next! Of course, it wouldn't be a Mario Mastermon deck profile without one copy of Junomon and one copy of Avenged Kidmon in order for you to recycle your options, recycle your resources. Uh, it's incredible. You love to see it. Uh, this recycles your options, one cost for cheaper for each, and then you can blow something up. This, mill three, add a purple digital one, add a digital one back to your hand when you evolve. Also retaliation. Um, sometimes you need to recur resources, which is why, the comp, which is why it's there. I think it's the slower decks. Uh, I'm actually finding it not super relevant in BT11 because things are so fast. I might actually cut these. But it is really good in the mirror match. So uh, it depends on how you feel about that. It's really good against the control matchups. It's just really bad against the best meta decks right now. Uh, whether or not you want to keep it or not, it's up to you. I still love it. I still think it's great. And the toolboxing with the Juno always is nice. That's it for the sixes. On the sevens, we are doing one copy of Omnimon's Word Defeat for the sometimes comes out of security and does things. And when you pop it, pops a Digimon. When you evolve it, pops a Tamer. Still really good. And of course, it wouldn't be a Mastermon deck profile nowadays without one copy of Ordeanmon. Ordeanmon is stupid broken against certain decks. You DNA Digivolve, you pop shit, you recover shit, it never dies by regular means. Ordeanmon is cracked. If you can get two Masties, which is easy to do, or even Juno Masty, just, just DNA. Ordeanmon. Heal a bunch. It's really cool. It can recover as much as you want. It's not capped. It can pop whatever you want. It's not capped. It's, it, card's insane. There's no reason not to play one copy of it. That's it for the Digimon. Tamers. This might sound like overkill, but we are playing four copies of Miri. We're playing four because I really want to see Miri. I want Miri in my hands at all time. What Miri does is the start of your turn. You gain a memory. Great. For five costs, it's fucking better do something like that. And then your turn... This is important. When you evolve your Digimon into Andrew Mon or Lady Devimon, if it's the only Digimon you have, you can suspend and bring back the other one from your trash for free. Yep. That's what that card does. Um, and that's why you play four of it, because you will never see it if you play three. I was playing three at first, never saw it. You always bomb back them with things like Godamon and whatever else. So, like, four copies, I think, is mandatory, unfortunately. And if you get them in security, it's so good. You also want four because Black War Grey likes to pop them. You just need to be able to play Miri. You need Miri to do things. Cards are really important. We play one Memory Tamer. We play Kari Kamiya. We don't need TK anymore because Andrew Amon loots our security for us for the things you'd out of TK anyway. Uh, Kari is just Memory Tamer that you suspend to gain one when you heal. And you heal a lot in this deck because the Andrew Amons, because of the Mastamons. Like, you, you heal a lot to where this will randomly just put you back to zero or something, and then your turn continues. Uh, I like it a lot. I wouldn't change it right now. I think it's really good. That's it for the Tamers. Uh, options. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we got the four Flame Hell Scythe, because it's broken. You do 6,000 damage, you bring six of something back. It's incredible. Gotta play four of it. We play three copies of Chaos Degradation, because it's still a really good removal card. Um, it's just really, really bad against Yuya. Like, it sucks against Yuya. But against everything else, it's fine. And if they don't have Yuya, it's fine. And if you keep blowing up their Yuya with Loose Monk Chaos for Resort Defeat, it's fine. So, like, three Chaos Degradation, I think, is more than enough. It's a really good control card, and you love to see it. Then we're playing through Memory Boost, because you still need to be able to have Memory Boost to search your Digimon. And the Memory helps you later in the game as well. 
Uh, you play enough Purple Digimon where this barely ever misses, and it's fine. It's really good. Then the ramp of the deck profile, like most purple deck profiles, one copy of Reinforcing because it's that one, and one copy of Calling from Darkness because it's that one. Um, that's that's as good as it gets, to be honest. The whole point of this deck is to get a Miri on the field, uh, and then you promote your stack, you evolve into one of your level fives, uh, whatever. Ideally, you want to start with Lady Devimon, because if you do start with Lady Devimon, either one, Usually you can get an Angel one in Trash, so they can bring out the Angel one with the Miri, and then immediately go to the Mastamon and apply pressure um, technically as early as turn two, I've done it before, uh, but usually turn three. And that's that's new Mastamon. That's new Mastamon. This deck is incredibly strong. It does require perfect play. Uh, so if you think you're up to that challenge, go ahead and do it. And uh, yeah, that's that's it. That's all for the deck profile. Let me know in the comments and see you later.